しているのかこの手でひねりとるぞこうNumber. You come here straight from work? Yeah.、Uh, I've been on my feet all day, so this is just what the doctor ordered. Bartender, another round. On me. <laughs> well, you've certainly moved up in the world. How have you been holding up, Sachan? The club's still running? Running like it's on its last legs. All things considered, though, I guess you could say we'll survive. Well, that's good. One thing's for sure. I won't let everything Nono Mia worked for go to waste.、Mm. Someday it'll be the hottest club in all of Yokohama. You guys are welcome to visit anytime, you know. <laughs> sure. Just don't go up charging us, huh? You know that's not how I do business. And if it was, you bums couldn't pay up anyway. <laughs> She ain't lying. Beer's here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right on time, boss man. <laughs> It ain't just a few times. Tonight, I say we get plastered. <laughs> just so long as you don't end up on the floor. Yeah. All right. Then what say we have another toast? Cheers! <laughs>、uh, So, Xiao said he couldn't make it, huh? Yeah, same with Junki Han. Man, what gives? This is our first time grabbing beers in six months. Ah,、oh, they're just looking out for us. They're still part of the underworld, so they can't exactly pal around all the time, you know? It really is a shame, though. Yeah, either way, Kasi is right. We're living in two different worlds that. Just aren't meant to cross paths. Especially if we want to keep these new lives we've built for ourselves. Plus, it's not like we'll never see them again. It's like they say no news is good news. Yeah. So, how's everyone been holding up? Still keeping at it with Arakawa san's parting gift? Well, I got a long road ahead, but I'm chipping away. Adachi san's already helped out a ton. <laughs> You're telling me, rinky dink op like mine can't just pull jobs out of thin air. No, really, I'm grateful. Ah, I'm just ribbing you. You're doing great, pal. <laughs> Not that you're any richer for it. <laughs> you never change, do you? Nope. But in a way, that's what makes him cool. Oh, <laughs> you think? <laughs> Hey, I'm gonna use the restroom. Uh, the restroom's unlocked, right? Well, how are things going with Sachan, huh? 
Huh? You two, uh, gone on a date yet? Wait, what, what are you talking about? Uh, that settles it. He hasn't done squat. Ah, uh, you know, I figured you might be too busy to date, but I didn't think it was that bad. <laughs> what a bust. Hey, hold up. What's with you? Kasuga, you got a thing for Sasha, right? I... Uh, well... Uh, um... Like we wouldn't find out. Your face says it all. Don't tell me you didn't notice all that extra space we've been giving you. You what? Well, don't worry about all that. The important thing is, if you're gonna make a move, now's the time, huh? You're both living pretty stable lives at this point. You ought to be able to think about stuff like that now. Yeah, but... You can make excuses all you want, but that won't help if someone else swoops her up, will it? I'm sure Sachan's got a few deep-pocketed regulars here and there. You might have more competition than you think, huh? Oh, I'm no good with that kind of stuff, though. I wouldn't know where to start. <laughs> yeah, let's just hope Sasaki doesn't see you like this. But seriously, you should ask her out when we leave here tonight. Something like, you want to hang out together, just the two of us? That's enough for now. Hey, good thinking, Itachi-san. Guess a veteran knows best. <laughs> What now, Adachi-san? Got some new scheme in the works? <laughs> I might. Oh yeah, Sachan. The other day... Ooh, yep. I'm drunk. You all right, Namba? We're zigzagging. All right, easy. I'll go with you. I gotta head to the station either way. No, I'm fine. Honest. Maybe on the inside. All right, we'll see you later. Let's do this again sometime, huh? Sure thing. <laughs> see you around. You got one life, pal. Aim true, fire away. A dodgy son. Come on, Namba. Let's roll. Hey, hey, slow down. You think I'll be all right? <laughs> oh well. Guess I should go too. See you later, Ichiban. Uh, Sachan! Hmm? Um, nothing. Come on, spit it out. No, forget I said anything. <sighs> okay. Well, good night. Sachan! Ichiban, seriously, what's gotten into you? Sorry. Listen. Do you maybe, um. Uh... Want to hang out sometime? Huh? <laughs> what? You already planning our next get-together? <sighs> we decided to do the next one at my club, remember? Uh, no, uh, not like that. I mean, just us. You know, like, together. I blew it. Oh, I blew it. Man, what now? Oh shit! Uh, 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 hello? Sorry, I, I sort of panicked. I didn't expect that. No, uh, I'm sorry. 
It was rude of me to spring that on you like that. You know, I'm free next Saturday. Uh, uh huh? We're gonna hang out, right? Just the two of us? Uh, wait, you mean... I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> anyway, see ya. What's up, John? Yo, good to see you, man. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What the hell? Cut it out, will ya? What's up with you two? Hey, buddy! Guess what? I did it! You I did what? I finally did it! You reek of food! <laughs> oh, come on! This is huge, fellas! <laughs> Don't spoil the party! <laughs> come on, Dad! 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 Hallelujah! 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 Just roll with it, man! Just roll! <laughs> Oh no shit! And she really said yes? Good for you. She's a hell of a girl. So why do you look so down? Well, it's just... I was locked up from the time I turned 24. I don't have much experience dating. Especially not with a grown woman like Sachon. Oh, are you that nervous? Hey, end of the day, dates come and go. No need to stress out. But uh, what if it all goes to hell and we never recover from it? But what if she never wants to see me again? Don't oh, forget it, I'm calling the whole thing off. And she'll definitely hate you if you cancel on her now. What am I supposed to do? Where do we go? What, what do we eat? What do we talk about? I've never thought about this stuff before. <laughs> all right now, take a breath. Leave all that to the experts. <laughs> oh yeah, we got this. Wait, can you two really help me out here? Sure. Who's got more experience than us? But this is your big chance, after all. We're gonna help you make the most of it. You guys... Teach me your ways! Okay, let's get started then. What is first when it comes to date prep? Easy. Before you do anything else, relax. Dates are nothing but people getting to know each other. It's all just human nature. Act natural. I guess that makes sense. Human nature. What? No, that's not it. Huh? But, um, a woman's not looking to just chew the fat on a date. You want to woo her. Give her a night she'll remember. Forget acting natural. You stay sharp and be the perfect version of yourself. Okay, right. I need to make everything special. Uh, but how do I do that while acting natural, like Namba said? Look, I'm the most experienced here, yeah? Just listen to what I tell you. Oh, hell no. The only thing I've got you is more experienced than is paying for it. Uh, you little... S Look, exactly how many girls did you take back to the old cardboard box, huh? Oh, so that's how it's gonna be. Uh, guys? Uh, it's this room. That's too hard to think in here. Let's hit the town. That'll get Namba and me inspired, yeah? Of course, as to which of us you listen to, well... You can make that call. Good idea. I'll show you just how to win a woman's heart. Let's go. Okay, I, uh, I appreciate it.
So, um, what are we doing here? Shh, 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 Kasuga. Class is in session. Uh, what? Lesson one in the art of love. Waiting. Waiting for what? Listen up. The date's begun the moment you reach the meeting spot and assume position. It is vital to arrive ahead of time by an hour, maybe two. And then you wait like a man. Remember, when the girl arrives, she's going to take one look at you and register a full impression. That impression doesn't wash off. It can take years to fix. I get it. First impressions, yeah? Makes sense. I have to admit, he's right. So, show us how you'll wait for Sacha. Okay, sure. Wait, what do you mean? I'll just, you know, stand? No, oh, too stiff. Every fiber of your body looks nervous. You want Sacha to feel at ease. Oh, crap, really? Uh, then, uh, how should I stand? Who said anything about standing? Hey, why don't you park yourself on that bench there? Maybe even doze off a bit. Uh, what? You want me to fall asleep while I'm waiting? What did I say earlier? Dates should be natural. Now listen, who in the world has seen your sleeping face besides people you trust and have opened up to? Uh, my cellmates, maybe? Forget about all that. The point is for Sachan to think, Wow! Ichi must feel so comfortable with me. Oh, and he looks like a precious puppy when he's snoozing. She'll want to protect you. Are you sure about this, man? What do you think, Adachi-san? Dozing off on a park bench? Huge mistake. What do we say before? A girl wants to feel special. That all starts with your posture. How do you make someone feel special with your posture? Remember the rule. 30 minutes early, at least, then you stand, silent, like a statue. Don't look around, just hold your gaze firmly in the direction she'll be coming from. When Sachan shows up and gets a load of that, she'll be putty in your hands. Ichiban, she'll think. I've never noticed how manly and passionate he seems. Get it? Okay, yeah. Maybe it'd be good to show her that side of me. Whatever, Ichi. You can't do both. Which of our strategies are you going with here? Oh, I have to choose. Going with you, Namba. I figure sitting down while I wait will help me conserve strength for later. <laughs> right on the money. You always keep as much in the tank as you can. Oh, hold on a second, Kasuga. How do you feel getting to the meeting spot, right? And there's Sachan, conked out, snoring. Oh, uh, I guess I'd think she was exhausted from working all day. Oh. Yep, she finds you asleep while you were waiting for her. You're no puppy dog. You just look like every other sad sack salary man. She'll spend the whole day wondering if you're really awake or out on your feet. Oh, damn it, you're right! <laughs> that, my friend, is why you stand firm. You're a proud soldier on your way to win the war! Um, I don't know if that's really how I want to imagine this state, but... I, I admit, I didn't get just how much my posture would matter. I'll be sure not to look tired or sloppy. Thanks. Ah, there we go. So, how about lesson number two? Art of Love, lesson two. Location, location, location. Yes, that's exactly what I need. Someplace fancy we can go. Huh? Fancy? Yeah, a date should be special. That's what you said. So, like... A nice Italian or French restaurant? Oh, yes, we did. You guys are kidding me. A fancy restaurant? Oh, Ichiban, it's like you're studying some kind of date manual. Exactly. It's too obvious. You'll make her feel like you're running on autopilot. Kasuga, 
You need a spot that says you picked it just for her. Someplace just for her, huh? Like what? Mm, like, uh... Ooh, Indian curry. A curry place? Not just any curry place. That one has a secret menu. You can order a curry there, spice level 100. That's 1.2 million on the Scoville scale. 500 times spicier than Tabasco. 500 times spicier? Yep. Even the most spice-hardened bastards run from those numbers. No one's ever finished a whole bowl. Now you tell me, what'll Sachan think when you conquer that beast right before her eyes? I'm not that into spicy food, man. Moron! That makes it even better! Suffer for her! Let her see you wiping the sweat from your brow! It's the struggle that's sexy! How she'll be buddy in your hands! Really? Idiot! What happens when the curry wins? You'll just be a quivering, snotty mess! Ooh, that's true. Listen to what I'm trying to tell you. Act natural. Don't be someone you're not. Don't trip over yourself finding somewhere new. Go somewhere you always go. Maybe, but for me, that's mostly just beef bowl places. Well, have some beef bowls. Come on, what? A beef bowl date? You think it's against the law or something? All that matters is that you stay relaxed. And right now, that means beef bowls. It's true, I guess. I would be nervous heading to some Italian or French place. Dumbass! Beef bowls don't win hearts. Show her you're a champ. Spice level 100. Uh, are my only options really beef bowls or the hottest curry on earth? Or you could always just give up. Wallow in indecision. Grow old and alone. Make a choice. Uh, seriously? Uh, fine. I've got to choose. Then... Then it's the beef bowls, I guess. What? Beef bowls on a date? You lose your mind? I know it's not perfect, but I keep thinking of Sajan sitting in silence while I tackle that curry. But she's, you, you know, watching you with pride. She's in awe of your, your bravery. Uh, does that sound like Sachan to you? Am I taking her out just to perform for her? Of course you are! It's about impressing her! Maybe, but isn't the whole point of a date to talk with each other? I'd rather do that over dinner than win some food challenge. Well, uh, <laughs> you got it! The lesson behind the lesson. <laughs> Precisely, Ichiban! <laughs> Thanks! Yeah, and, uh, that means beef bowls are out of the question, too, right? They might help me relax, but it wouldn't be that special for Sachan. I guess I've just got to find a spot we'll both like. Uh, yeah, precisely. <laughs> yeah, now you get it. You saw through my trick and realized the true lesson underneath. You know, he's really not that clueless. Oh, you're right. Maybe all he's actually missing is confidence. Gotta say, I, I wasn't sure about this before, but you guys really do have me feeling readier for this date. So, what's next? <laughs> right, and it's time for the final lesson. Here we are then, the final course in the art of love. Oh, okay. I think I see what's coming. Give it to me. What's wrong with how I dress? I mean, this suit's natural, isn't it? Yeah, far from it, I'm afraid to say. Highly unnatural. How? Is that a natural fabric color? Remember, we're after human nature here. Try something like this. This is a date outfit? Doesn't look that stylish. Nothing's more stylish than au naturel. What's trendier these days than an organic lifestyle? These clothes, 
They're pure cotton and hemp, not an ounce of artificial color. An environmentally friendly ensemble. I get it. It's another way of keeping things natural. But Sachan, it won't it surprise her? I mean, she's never seen me dress this way. Stop worrying. The call of nature affects everyone. Sachan will know on a primal level that this is sexy. Don't you see? It's written in our very souls to love those who love nature. Oh, uh, really, though? Look, I get the value of being environmentally conscious, but... Hey, come on, quit humoring this whack job, Kasuga. You try to win a girl's heart, not save the whales. Cosplaying as some kind of burlap beatnik isn't about to make Sachan go gaga for you. Okay, Adachi-san, what do you recommend? Aha! Feast your eyes on this masterpiece of sartorial seduction. Holy shit! You don't think this is a little too flashy? Kasuga, why does the firefly illuminate in the darkness? What? It's the male's method of courtship, obviously. Dazzling your beloved, captivating them. It's an instinct every living thing on Earth shares. Obey your instincts, Kasuga. Light up her life, and Sachan will be putty in your hands. Whoa! Oh, when you put it like that, this suit is pretty amazing, isn't it? Yep. Now, don't you want to show up in that instead of Namba's crap bag? Damn, you're right. I've got to choose again. We both made good points. It's all right, Ichiban. Just go with your heart. Okay, I will. I'm wearing this one. Adachi-san, it's yours. I know that human nature is important, but special occasions demand special action, don't they? <laughs> all right. I've said all I have to say. Give it your all. Make it one for the history books. Damn straight. We got you as far as we can get you. Now it's up to you. You two, watch. I'll make you proud. ありがとうございました。
Let's do it! Cool! Break yourself! Open up! もしもしママ。
some of Let's do it! The battle is on! Cool! Am I late? No, not at all. Actually, uh, I just got here. <laughs> Look, you don't have to be so nervous. Oh, wow. I can tell you went all out for today, Ichiban. Oh, you mean... The guys helped me pick this out. <laughs> is... is it weird? <laughs> no. I think you look nice. So, where are we off to? Oh! Uh, first things first. We're terribly sorry. Please come again soon. Oh, they're full too. Well, it is lunchtime, so I guess it makes sense. Let's try somewhere else. Sorry. Those were all the places I had in mind. Oh, really? I guess we should have made reservations ahead of time. Oh, I'm sorry. I should have thought about that. Uh, Sachan, is there anywhere you want to go? Me? Well, actually, yeah, there is. Oh, then, hey, let's try to get a table. Oh, it's, uh, not a place to eat. Huh? What is it, then? What? Do I have to spell it out for you? I mean, you're the one getting all fidgety. We've been walking all this time, right? Let's stop by. What? I assumed you were feeling the same way. But it's still light out and, and stuff. Since when does that matter? Day or night, I could really use it right now.
you know, Sachan. Hmm. Do you, uh, you know, do this kind of thing often? Well, I guess. <laughs> I'm usually always in the mood. And how would you feel if someone you love was doing the same thing? Hmm. Well, I guess it's not something to be proud of. Right, so the hotel's probably a little fast, huh? What? A hotel? Where did you get that idea? Huh? Isn't that one? I meant I could use a cigarette. A cigarette? There's a smoking area a little ways up ahead. See? Oh, 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 oh right. Duh. Yeah, smoking. I, I knew that's what you meant. But sure, let's smoke. Heck, maybe I'll have two. Are you okay, Ichiban? You know, I wonder what Namba looks like without his glasses. What? <laughs> Why? Oh, well, it's just I realized I've never seen him without him. Hey, you're right. Well, now I'm kind of curious, too. What if he's actually super hot or something? <laughs> Aw, that's kind of mean to Nanchan. Still, he could use a little spiffing up. <laughs> Get his hair done and stuff. I know. We should plan the guy a makeover one of these days. Adachi-san can help out too. <laughs> yeah, that sounds fun. Hey, <laughs> plan on it then. Say, wouldn't you rather spend more time with Nanchan and Adachi-san than be on a date with me? Huh? I mean, you seem like you really perk up whenever you talk about them. Oh, no, I, I didn't... Just something we have in common is all. <laughs> I'm only kidding. Oh, right. Speaking of those two, I just remember. They were telling me about a place near Jinnai Station that's supposed to be pretty good. You maybe want to go there now? <laughs> sure. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, look at this counter. Is that real Hinoki Cypress? Sh sure is. Everything okay, Ichiban? Yeah, I just assumed the place would be a little more casual, seeing as Namba and Adachi suggested it. I doubt those two have ever actually been here. Actually, come to think of it, all they said was that the place had good atmosphere. Here, let's order something. Uh, okay. Yeah, let's look at the menu. All right, I think I'm gonna try this. I'll have the shunkokugyo, please. Oh, miss, that's actually read Harutsugeuo. Oh, really? I... Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> this is embarrassing. There's no need to be embarrassed, Sachan. Looking at it myself, I doubt many people can read everything on the menu. For one thing, a little pronunciation guide wouldn't hurt. Oh, no, you don't have to say that. It's our first time here, after all. I couldn't help but hear, sir. You find our menu unsatisfactory? 
Uh, no, we're sorry. Everything's just great. Well, actually, he has a point. Uh, huh? A lot of first-time customers tend to get discouraged by our menu. We've had trouble keeping regulars as of late. Upon trying to determine the cause, I thought perhaps our emphasis on formality set the bar a little too high. Sure, formal's great and all, but when it starts intimidating you, it kind of loses its luster a bit. You're absolutely right. To that end, we'll be adding pronunciations to the menu as soon as possible. Thank you for being so open and honest. Wow, they're updating the menu thanks to you, Ichiban. You didn't let the fancy atmosphere stop you or anything. <laughs> I'm impressed. <laughs> I just said what I was thinking. I mean, look at this. They put these two kanji together, but who's ever going to be able to read that? Well, actually, that's just shrimp. What? Shrimp? Even I could read that. Now you're embarrassing me. Now, now. Allow us to offer some onmitsu for dessert on us as a token of our appreciation. Really? Oh, I love onmitsu. Thank you so much. Oof. Who knew Kapo style was so good? Seriously, that was delicious. I don't know if I would have ever gone there if not for our date. Thank you so much, Ichiban. Oh, really? Hey, I'm just happy you're happy. Ugh, no way. What's up? See that guy walking toward us right now? You mean those three guys? The one leading him? His name's Tanaka. He used to be a regular of mine. At your cabaret club? Yeah. He's president of an IT venture firm, but money or not, it doesn't make up for how he acts. He would lie to all the other customers saying I was his girl, so I banned him from the club. But even after all that, he'd wait for me at the back door. So I made up my own lie and told him I had a boyfriend. Sheesh, that's pretty bad. Yeah, but he doesn't give up. He'd tell me, you're lying, or there's no way you have a boyfriend. And worse, he still hangs out back sometimes. Think he sees through you, or do you just need to be more convincing? <sighs> I'm not sure, but he says he can read people like a book. Anyway, this is perfect. Ichiban, play along, okay? Huh? It's all up to you. Now, act like you're my boyfriend. Boyfriend? Uh, but this is so sudden. Huh? Saiko-san! What a coincidence! What are you doing here? What? Isn't it obvious? I'm on a date with my boyfriend. Boyfriend? You mean the dressed-up caveman? Hey there! My name is Ichiban Kasuga, and I'm dating Saiko-san. Jeez, way to be subtle. Do you believe me now that I have a boyfriend? Of course not! Come on, you know I can read people like nobody's business. This poor guy doesn't look even remotely your type. No way, no how. So, you're Saiko-san's boyfriend. Okay then, and what do you do for work? Actually, I'm a contract employee at Hello Work. A contract employee? Ha! You're a temp! And you think you can land a girl like Saiko-san? <laughs> As if I'd care about that. All right, let me ask you this, Mr. Boyfriend. If Saiko-san ends up 10 million yen in debt, are you gonna pull her out? I can pay that off in my sleep. Can you? I don't have that kind of money, so no, I can't. I thought so. You don't have what it takes to protect her. But I can listen to her, 
and sharing her worries wherever, whenever, as long as she needs. Isn't that what a boyfriend's supposed to do? Hmm. Itchy bun. <laughs> and what the hell does that solve? You'll sit around and stress out. The end. Except it's not the end. It's comforting to have someone worry alongside you. Knowing they care can give you the strength to keep going. It's like how multiplying two negatives gives you a positive. That's the kind of man I'd want. I'm glad Ichiban is my boyfriend. You serious, Sako-san? You're really telling me this scruffy-looking oaf is your boyfriend? You didn't hear me the first time? But... No, 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 no! How can I lose to a dumpy guy like him? Yep, you lost. So can you please promise to stop following me around? Sure, I'll promise. Right after I teach you two a lesson! What? You want to crush my heart? Fine! I'll crush you! Let's do it! an asshole. Wow, at the very least. It looks like he's done following you around, Sachan. Thanks, Ichiban. Way to play the part. Your little ad-lib at the end was amazing. <laughs> hey, my pleasure. Still, that jerk totally ruined your new clothes. I'm so sorry. Ugh, it's all my fault. Nah, they're just clothes. But, uh... I should probably go freshen up. If it's all right, would you mind waiting a little bit? I'll go change. Okay. I'll be right here. Great. Be right back. find a vending machine. No worries. <laughs> you know, I wasn't sure how this was gonna go, but I had fun. Thanks, Ichiban. Oh, uh, sure. Happy it all worked out. You okay? So listen, I know I used to be a Yakuza and all, and now that I quit, I'm basically just scraping by every day. I Ichiban, what, what is this all about? I'm not very bright, and I suck at studying too. For real, Captain Sawashiro's been calling me a dumbass since the day we met. But still, I'm working a steady job now, and I take it really seriously. I think I even got a good reputation at the office, too. 
Physically speaking, I'd say I'm pretty strong. I mean, I'm nothing compared to a guy like Kiryu-san. But I definitely know how to hold my own. I don't drink or smoke too much either. And I can't say I don't gamble, but, well, it's mostly just a hobby, you know? The point is, I don't really have too much to offer. But when it comes to you, I give everything I have just to make you happy! So, uh, let me ask you. Will you... Will you marry me? Swear on my honor as a man, no matter what happens, Sachan, I will always be there for you. Listen, I know how hard it is to go it alone, especially as a woman. To run things at the club like you do, all while looking after your dad and sister? That's incredible! But if we're together, you won't have to bear all that on your own anymore. I'll help you look after your dad. And if anything at all happens with Nanoha, I'll be right there. I'm serious. You won't even have to work. You can hang at home and leave the rest to me. And I wouldn't push all the housework on you either. I'll clean, cook, do laundry, shop, whatever you want. And if we have a kid, you can bet I'll raise him right. And then one day, maybe we could all visit Arakawa-san's grave together. I tell him, Look at this happy family I've built. You can rest easy up there, cause I'm doing just fine down here. Sacha? Thanks again, Ichiban. Today really was fun. Wait! Uh huh? Hey, hang on a sec! Sacha! Did... Did I say something wrong? Uh, no. No, nothing like that. I just need to get home. Up early tomorrow, you know? <laughs> it's probably the same for you too, right? Anyway, let's just keep at it. Um, but I... Uh, what's your answer? Grief! What kind of moron proposes on the first date? Maybe it's some sort of late bloomer panic. I don't know what to say. I mean, uh, I could see you're getting turned off or something, but I doubt Sachan would be mad about it. But, well, no, she wasn't mad, I don't think. She just said she was leaving all of a sudden. Idiot! That means she's mad! Possibly fuming! Dare I even say seething! Well, that's it then, boys. Game over. Let's put the old dream out to pasture. Hey! Quit screwing around and help me out! For real! I got no idea what's what anymore! <sighs> so the date itself. That all went fine, right? Yeah! I mean... I was really nervous and awkward at first, but eventually Sachan started having a lot of fun. At least, I think she did. You know, now that I think about it, maybe she was already fed up with me at that point. Oh boy, this is where it all starts. The doubt's rolling in. So much for the hero of Yokohama. Well, hang on, this is Sachan we're talking about. If she wasn't feeling it, she would have called it real fast. In that case, you must have said something pretty stupid in that proposal. What all did you say? Give us the spiel, huh? What? Now? It's kind of embarrassing. Look, dumbass. If we don't know exactly what you said, then we can't help you. Now, spit it out. Uh, um... Uh, well, first, I talked about how I'm poor, 
and how I used to be in the Yakuza. I mentioned I wasn't too smart, but that I was working an honest job. I said I don't drink, smoke, or gamble much. Yeah, that was a good chunk of it. Hmm, so far so good. No red flags or anything just yet. So, then what? Uh, then? Uh, oh, right. I said I didn't have much going for me, but I swore I'd make her happy. And yeah, after that, I proposed. Uh. What? That was it. Listen, Ichiban. Sachan might be working her ass off, but she's out there living her dreams. You think a girl like that really needs someone to gallop on in and save the day? Oh! Uh. Look, I know you didn't mean it like that, but if there was ever a way to screw up, that was it. Uh. Sounds like we got our culprit. But just to be safe, what else did you say? Uh... After that, I said I love that she's so responsible, how, how it's really impressive for a woman to do what she does. Wait, what? You really said, for a woman? <gasps> Was that bad? Stuff like, for a woman, or even though you're a woman, that kind of talk can come off as pretty sexist, even if you're just hanging with us guys. Really? Oh, boy. You raised a whole bunch of red flags, huh? I got a bad feeling about this. Ugh, me too. So, was there anything else? Well, uh, well I mentioned her dad and sister. She really goes out of her way for them, you know? Because of that, I said I'd take care of the bills and she could just hang out at home. Oh, shit. I'm sure you meant you just wanted her to take it easy. But you don't think Sachan's at the club just for the money, do you? I, I know there's more to it than that. Maybe, but the way you said it might have been misinterpreted to mean otherwise. I get you were panicked, but there had to be a better way to phrase that, right? Oh, man! Oh, what I wouldn't give to go back and do it all over! Well, let's be doubly sure there is not more. Did you say anything else after that? I did. I said that even if Sachan did stay at home, I'd help out with the chores. And that if we ever had a kid, we could all visit the boss's grave together? Uh, is that finally it? You didn't add any more fuel to the fire. No, that was the last of it, I think. Well, you sure went out with a bang. So you said you'd help with the chores. Noble, but I doubt it earned any points. That more or less gives the impression you think chores are a woman's job. And depending on the person, talking about having a kid can be pretty shaky territory too. Some couples can't even have kids, so it's not like marriage is all about starting a family. And you topped it off with a planned visit to Arakawa's grave. That almost sounds like you want to marry her just to make the old man proud. Hey, come on. You're saying every single thing I said was wrong? Oh, this sucks. Seriously, what the hell do I do now? Well... Might just have to apologize. True. She might be fed up with you and all that, but it's better than saying nothing. Okay. Just gotta make things right. Hey. Bye.